Hello, my name is Stephen Ellis, and the painting I chose was Madonna and Child with Saints and Angels by Bernardino Fungi. The painting is a uh, tempera on wood and was made between 1510 and 1515. Bernardino studied under locals from Siena and is a follower of Sensetta and Giovanni di Paola. The painting itself of Madonna and the Child is fairly large and is round with a square frame showing the harmony of the square circle relationship used by Leonardo da Vinci. The frame is gold and has flowers and is very decorative and is most likely depicted as an altarpiece in a church. The painting shows Madonna in the center with the Christ child laying on the ground. Madonna is touching his chin. To the right of them is Mary Magdalene, covered with long blonde hair, which she grew after spending 30 years in the desert serving as a penitent. To the left of Madonna and the child is four saints, John the Baptist, Jerome, Francis, and Christopher. The child laying next to Madonna and saints became very popular in Tuscany in the late 15th century. Madonna gazes and adores her child by gracefully touching his chin, acknowledging he is hers. The Christ child is being carried by angels. You can tell that they're angels by the wings on their back. The Christ child is being carried by the angels on a bed of roses. And the color of the roses are red and white, symbolizing that they are sacred to the Virgin Mary and ties in everything symbolically. On the left side is most likely a ruined Roman wall, indicating the end of a pagan era. The way the wall is painted horizontally brings your eye to that point, and I think it's very unique the way that he painted in that wall. There are columns right next to it, in between the Madonna and the Saints, to define space in the painting. Bernardino uses more landscape in the background, which almost looks imaginary by the way he painted the mountains and the skies. The sky in the background fades from a gradient of dark turquoise to light blue to white. He uses atmospheric perspective, also known as aerial perspective, coined by Leonardo da Vinci, which is a method of creating the illusion of death and recession into a painting. When you look at the painting, it looks like your eyes are taken back into the landscape. Bernardino allows more rich colors and light into the scene, but also loses some realism with the color choices. He also sacrifices body proportions to all the subjects to get the more beautiful look of the Madonna and the Christ Child. Most of the faces are pale with rosy cheeks. The figures also look conservative with the folding of the arms. You acknowledge the Madonna is the Virgin Mary because of the halo around her and the rest of the subjects also have halos telling that they are religious. Mary is wearing a dark robe uh, which symbolizes she is Mary but does not have the star like most Madonnas.